I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. According to Wikipedia, the Second Providence, a 28-gun frigate built by Sylvester Bowes at Providence, Rhode Island, by order of the Continental Congress, was launched in May 1776. After being blockaded in the Providence River for more than a year, the new frigate, under command of Captain Abraham Whipple, ran the British blockade on the night of the 30th of April, 1778, returning the heavy fire of the British frigate HMS Lark and damaging that vessel, killing three of her crew and wounding 17 firing on frigate HMS Juno, and damaging a tender that was sent to dock in Newport, Rhode Island, where it sank. She sailed directly for France, arriving at Pembouf, the 30th of May, to procure guns and supplies for the Continental Navy vessels under construction. During the voyage, she captured brigantine Lord Grosvenor. Three days later, Grosvenor was recaptured by the letter of Marquis Nancy, and then retaken by Providence. She sailed from Penboof the 8th of August and six days later joined frigate Boston at Brest, France. The two ships sailed back to America on the 22nd of August. They took three prizes on the return voyage, and Providence arrived at Portsmouth, New Hampshire the 15th of October. Transferred to Boston to seek a crew, Providence sailed from Boston the 18th of June, 1779, as flagship of Commodore Abraham Whipple, cruising eastward in company with Ranger and Queen of France. In the early morning of mid-July, the squadron was in a dense fog off the banks of Newfoundland and fell in with a Jamaican fleet of some 150 sails. The vessels remained with the enemy fleet all day without causing alarm. They took 11 prizes, many by quietly sending boats to take possession. The squadron slipped away with their prizes during the night. They sent eight of the prizes valued together with their cargo at over a million dollars into Boston and Cape Ann. The squadron returned to Boston on the 23rd of November, sailed from Nantasket Roads, first cruising eastward of Bermuda, arriving at Charleston, South Carolina on the 23rd of December to defend that city. Providence, with other ships of Commodore Whipple's squadron, remained for the defense of Charleston and was one of the ships taken by the British when that city fell, the 12th of May, 1780. She subsequently served in the British Navy until sold in March, 1783. Commander Abraham Whipple was an American naval officer best known for his service in the Continental Navy during the Revolutionary War and being one of the founders of Marietta, Ohio. Born near Providence, colony of Rhode Island, Whipple chose to be a seafarer early in his life and embarked on a career in the lucrative trade with the West Indies, working for Moses and John Brown. In the French and Indian War period, he became a privateersman and commanded privateer Gamecock from 1759 to 1760, 
In one six-month cruise, he captured 23 French ships. In 1772, Whipple burnt the first British naval casualty of the American Revolution, the revenue cutter Gaspé, in the Gaspé Affair. The first to unfurl the star-spangled banner in London, Whipple was also the first to sail an ocean-going ship 2,000 miles downriver from Ohio to the Caribbean, which opened trade with the Northwest Territory. Abraham Whipple was a member of the Society of Cincinnati of the state of Rhode Island. Yeah. 